All right, this is Grade 3, Module 5, Lesson 2, and in this lesson we're going to be specifying and partition a whole into equal parts. So essentially we're going to be drawing some more fractions here. And uh, in particular, uh, during the class time, they're going to be folding uh, fraction strips with paper. Uh, the homework is what I'm going to show you uh, for the benefit of both teachers and parents, as well as the kids, I suppose. So the idea is, first we want to remember what a fraction is, all right? So here is my simple little explanation for what a fraction is, that when you have a fraction, your denominator identifies the number of equal parts that the whole has been cut into, and the numerator is the number of equal parts that are being highlighted, or maybe being eaten, or it's the number of pieces that are left over, all right? So that's what that numerator stands for. Now for this lesson, though, uh, we're only going to be talking about unit fractions, all right? So that n numerator is going to be one this whole lesson. Eventually, of course, we're going to be learning about all the fractions, uh, but right now we're just talking about unit fractions. So we've got Dylan, and he plans to eat one-fifth of his candy bar. His four friends want him to share the rest equally, show how Dylan and his friends can each get an equal share of the candy bar. So we're going to draw a picture. And uh, parents, teachers, I think what I would do is use something that looks like a tape diagram. And so there's my candy bar, or Dylan's candy bar. and. He wants to eat, or he plans to eat, one-fifth of the candy bar. So that means we have to cut, and I'll, I'll draw one-fifth. So that means we have to cut this candy bar into five equal pieces. Or, of course, we're going to estimate. We're not going to be totally perfect here. But the thing is to remember, we, we want five pieces. We're not going to cut five times. We want to end up with five pieces pieces. So teachers, you're really going to have to be aware of that. Our students are going to try and accidentally make five cuts when really they need to make four cuts. One, two, three, four, five, in order to make our five pieces. All right. And so you can see one, two, three, four, five. There's our five pieces, but we only needed four cuts. So kind of be aware of that that when we're talking about fractions, we're going to be talking about these intervals, not the cuts themselves. And so here's Dylan. This is what Dylan is going to get. And then his four friends want him to share the rest equally, show how they could do it. Well, here's friend one, here's friend two, here's friend three, and here's friend four. So you can see that uh, if we cut that candy bar into fifths, then each of the five kids gets a piece of the candy bar. And the last slide for this video, can you believe it? Uh, Nasir <clears throat> baked a pie and cut it into fourths. All right. He then cut each piece in half. What fraction of the original pie does each piece represent? So, first we're going to draw a pie. Now, I know the word pie kind of suggests a circle, and, and we could do that. We, in fact, let's do that first. So here's our pie, and he baked a pie and cut it into fourths. All right, so let's cut that into fourths. One, two, there's our four pieces. Um, <clears throat> he then cut each piece in half. So if he then cuts each piece in half, so there's a cut in half, cut in half, cut in half, cut in half. The question is, what fraction of the original pie does each of these new pieces represent? So what he's saying is, what they're saying is, uh, let's do this. All right. This piece right here, what fraction does this piece represent? represent? Well, you can see that, uh, let's grab a different color, sorry. Okay, 
Uh, so remember a fraction, the denominator here is the number of pieces that the whole has been cut into, and that's 8 because we can see that there's 8 pieces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 pieces. And then one piece, each piece represents 1 out of the 8, so 1 eighth. And so that's that answer. Now, of course, uh, students might have wanted not to do a circle. They might have wanted to do um, a tape diagram. And so I'm going to recreate that down here. And I'm going to say, OK, well, what if we had done this? All right. So first, Nasir baked a pie, and he cut it into fourths. So that would be one, two, three, four. So do you notice how I did that? I cut it in half, and then I cut each half in half. Uh, that's because 2 times 2 is 4. So I first cut it in half, and then I cut it each of those in half. So there's our fourths. And then he, um, he cut each piece in half. So let's do that. And so I'll grab my green. And then he cuts each one of those in half. And so now you can see that one out of those pieces, that's our 1 eighth. So if Nasir ate one piece of pie on Tuesday, so that'll be this piece right here, and then he eats two pieces on Wednesday, so he eats this piece and he eats this piece, what fraction of the original pie was not eaten? So this is not a unit fraction. So we're, we're being asked to identify, oh, let's see, let's do it in red, um, this fraction right here. So what fraction was not eaten? Well, the denominator is going to be 8 because there's 8 pieces in this whole. This whole thing has been cut into 8 equal sized pieces. And what part is being highlighted? The part that's not eaten? There's 5 of them. So our numerator is 5. So the answer is 5 eighths has not been eaten. And that wraps up Grade 3, Module 5, Lesson 2, and where we're just still talking about fractions, in particular, unit fractions.